Oh, Andre, Try this. I know, that looks so cool, dude. My man Toby uh, is gonna actually bring this truck in because I wanna show you underneath it. It's coated, right? I mean, it is. GM's been doing it for how many decades? They don't coat them with the proper stuff. Those are brand new uh, DSSV shocks. Everything I'm seeing, you know, looks to be pretty nice, especially I like the suspension package on it. Hey guys, check it out. Yes, I have the all new Chevy Silverado ZR2 and I'm on a road trip. I'm going from Denver, Colorado to Moab, Utah, about 330 miles. The whole goal is to get to Moab and do some off-roading. On this episode, I wanna show you exactly what it's like to live with this truck, this most off-road capable truck from Chevrolet. Will I be able to go 330 miles on one tank with this big 6.2 liter V8? Let me top off. I'm using 91 octane because I want to be nice to this truck. It's a premium engine. And I also want to show you all the tech that's inside of it and let you know how it drives on a cross country road trip. This truck is brand new. We picked it up just, what, three or four days ago. Um, let me reset the trip meter and see in the real world what is the range of this truck? All right, done. Let's get on the highway. As you can see, the dashboard and a lot of the interior on this new Silverado is redesigned. And I think it's a huge improvement. Uh, because it's a ZR2, of course it has a premium interior because that's what Chevrolet wanted to do. Um, so you can see also unique ZR2 touches like the special stitching, which is yellow. Um, and then this new 13.4 inch infotainment screen is here. Um, it can do a lot, including cameras really, which I can sometimes monitor at highway speeds. And here's the thing, range is important. How far can you go? How comfortable can you be? Uh, which is exactly why I'm doing this. Uh, the seats on the ZR2 have um, pretty aggressive bolsters. They're kind of sport seats, but the seat bottom cushion is still a little stiff. This is one of the more affordable, if you believe it or not, ZR2s. Um, $67,215 was the MSRP that we paid uh, when we purchased it. And um, if you want other features like heads-up display or a sunroof, or if you want an adaptive cruise control system, um, etc., etc., you will have to pay additional. And I think the ZR2 tops out at about $73,000. But I think I don't need any of that because uh, this is still the amazing suspension. Um, I, it's really comfortable and I feel like I'm really connected to the highway. Just for fun, I'm gonna show you something I can do with this digital cluster. I can go on this side and change the layout of the gauges completely. A little bit more classic, traditional. You saw the progressive already. There's also the digital dash and then there is clean. And clean <laughs> is really clean. Uh, really, I mean, there is almost nothing, just the speed. And of course my fuel and some of the other lower uh, sections are displayed. The Silverado ZR2 is powered by a 6.2 liter gas V8. And the rating is 420 horsepower, 460 pound-feet of torque. It's made it to a 10 speed automatic transmission and the rear differential ratio is a 323. Okay, okay, we're almost there, but it's been really windy. Uh, we're in the middle of Utah. Moab is just about 35 miles away. Uh, and we actually saw a truck with a turned over trailer. So it's really not helping our fuel efficiency, but we'll let you know exactly what it is. So let's get back in and go. I'm super close to Moab now. So, what is my review of this trip? 
So first of all, the suspension and overall cabin quietness is, I think, excellent. No, this is not a floaty truck. It's not a floaty off-road truck, uh, and it's also not a Cadillac. Um, the suspension is a little bit more taut, and it's just, I think it's built more for precision, but I actually like that in this case. Um, it just kind of seems good. Uh, I think it's maybe a little bit more to my liking than a, like a Ford Raptor Fox shocks or the Bill Steins from TRX even. The ZR2 and now the new 2022 Silverados come with Google Assistant. So let me try something. Hey Google, find the cheapest gas station in Moab, Utah. There's Maverick Adventures first stop 6.7 miles away. Wanna navigate there? Yes. All right, Maverick Adventures first stop 6.7 miles away. You see that? It's still quite expensive. That was $4.55. But at least um, it's giving me the choice. I kind of like that. I don't have to fumble for my device. I don't have to uh, ask anybody else for help. I can just use my voice and actually get something done that's really useful and maybe even save some money if those pricing uh, data is correct. Um, finally, let me try something else. Hey Google, tell me a joke. What kind of music do bunnies like best? Hip hop. Hey Google. Tell me a joke. What's the most musical part of the turkey? The drumsticks. <laughs> oh wow. So yes, yeah, so Google has the best dad jokes probably of them all. You could do that all, I guess, the entire trip. <laughs>well, Google was right. The cheapest fuel is four dollars and fifty-five cents, but I'm using ninety-one octane, which is more expensive, four ninety-four. As always, I'm going to wait 30 seconds and top off. Um, I already uh, put in about 21.2 gallons. Let's see where it's at and then I can calculate. Oh, the wind is still here. There it is. The total distance I went is 347.4 miles. Divide by 21.69 gallons equals 16 point, basically 16. And the truck, that's what the truck said. Beautiful, I love that. Remember, this is not fully broken in engine. This could improve overall. And here, uh, let me actually share what, because we've done this drive numerous times, and here's what some of the other trucks can do. Well, that is really surprising, guys. Uh, and not in a pleasant way. Oh, oh, oh. Well, the Raptor was thirsty. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be 19. You know, as somebody who bought this truck, Andre, yeah, it's the advertised number of 22, and I'm getting barely 18. Right, four MPG. That's troubling. That's that's that's, that's, big difference. that's a big difference, and it's seriously troubling. So here's what happened, as you saw, on the way from Denver to Moab. Same route, basically, nearly identical. The Rem Rebel got 17 and a half MPG. The Ford Raptor second gen got 17.8, and the Chevy Trail Boss with a 5.3 V8, the smaller one, got 19.2. And now the ZR2 with heavy, heavy wind got 16. So, not too far away. I think 17 MPG is possible, so this is what I propose. I'm gonna do another fill up here in Moab and show you just a summary of what happened when we get back to Denver, what fuel efficiency I get. So you can kind of average it out and get the final great number. Well, I am bummed to leave Moab, but I want to do this. 
it's still windy but I, hopefully this wind will help us this time uh, so I want to do another MPG loop for you I'll just show you uh, filling up and then how much fuel we get in close to Denver okay perfect on the road again Okay, magically 344 miles have gone by uh, we're back in Golden Colorado which is near Denver which is actually I start where I started the initial MPG loop check out the results though this is surprising once again 344 miles 19.1 MPG 56.2 was my average speed so my average speed was a little bit lower than on the way out there the wind was still here and we had some rain Okay, let's get the final number. So it is different. Okay, let's get the number. 344 miles divided by 17.869 equals 19.3 actually rounding up. So I think that wind going to Moab actually affect that a lot so let's see the average of the two trips so 19.25 plus 16 which is the other number divide by 2 about 17.6 and this is a little bit better than 17 EPA number really great real-world performance basically about the same as a Hemi Rebel not bad so guys, overall I'm pretty happy. 400 miles on a tank of fuel in the Silverado Zero 2 is possible as you saw in this video. It's really comfy, high tech. And uh, yeah, you will see it off road. I'll see you on the next one and check out oldtfl.com for everything automotive. What do you think guys? Welcome to Utah. So I'm gonna put it to the first ultimate test. First dirt, first rocks. It's a little bit nerve-wracking. Mm.